It's a fresh wipe, you're broke, and scav runs take 45 minutes to load into. Now, people have discussed the new area on Shoreline. They've been like, yeah, it's cool, whatever. I don't know. But, I don't know if it's just because money doesn't matter to them because they're too good or whatever, but for me and you, this place is a gold mine. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a map of the updated shoreline anywhere online. We're working with the old version, but it should get the point across. Entering from the eastern side, we're going to start in an area where there's a lot of weapon attachments. There's a small tent and tables and stuff all over the place. So you're going to come in here, you'll see uh, weapon crates, loose attachments, loose ammo, and that sort of thing. Moving west, further into the area, there are two large tents, which are full of uh, mostly like tech items. So we're talking about stuff that's really valuable early in wipe because you need this stuff to build out your hideout. So they're going to flee for a lot. And if you don't have the flea yet unlocked, you're going to find a lot of stuff that you can use to improve your hideout, which is a super important thing to do early in wipe. So as you can see, I'm coming in here, there are some crates um, and like some boxes and whatever, you know, stuff that you search. But as you're looting, you have to be really careful to check the sides of these tents. There's tables, there's shelves. You just saw I picked up some pliers off the ground. Uh, there's all sorts of like pretty good loot, hoses, wrenches, filters, all that type of things all along the sides here, on the shelves, on the tables. So keep your eye out for loose loot. On top of all of the loot that you're going to be getting in here, there's a sweet bonus, which is just to the north is the new vehicle extract that they added to Shoreline. Every time you take this extract, you boost your scav rep significantly. The first time you take it, it gives you like 0.25 scav rep, which is equivalent to 25 successful extractions as a scav. Uh, which is just ridiculous. It does diminish over time. Uh, used to half every time you take it. Now I think it comes down by like 0.5 or something. I don't know exactly what the numbers are. It reduces over time, but you might as well take it. It never goes below 0.01. So you're kind of you're effectively doubling a PMC raid and a scav raid at the same time, at least in terms of rep. As you can see here, I was talking about finding car batteries. That's a huge, huge part of this area. Uh, car repair with therapists can be a really difficult task. There is the craft for car batteries with a tank battery, but you need your hideout upgraded and you need to buy a tank battery for like 700 grand, which is uh, really annoying. But anyway, we're heading up right now straight to the car extract. Make sure you bring money. It's, it should be 5,000 rubles or less. Lay down, watch out, get out, and do it again. Now, scavs do spawn in this area, so when you're coming in, be wary of that. If you've spawned near Road to Customs or just on the eastern side of the map, you'll probably make it in before any other players do. Uh, definitely keep your ears open. It should be like a fairly easy area to hold down if you hear someone coming in, uh, especially after you get to know it a little bit but definitely watch out for scavs, watch out for players. This is the last area that I have on my very beautiful diagram. This is the carport area. And you wanna look out for loot all over the ground and then the, the, there's a couple of crates laying around as well that you can loot. Hey, yo, you need a car battery? I got two right here. So, as you can hear, I've come in here with my buddy think we've come in here as the three men and all left with more or less full packs uh, filled with decent loot it's not the best loot but it's certainly not bad loot and it's just uh, an easy way to make a bunch of money and improve your scav rep so as you can see I actually found two car batteries in the same raid I had already completed the task with therapists unfortunately but early wipe they sell for like a hundred grand a pop so pick those up Got heavy as shit, limped my way out, out to the car extract, got a bunch of scav rep, and we'll see in a second that uh, this raid was just incredibly profitable. I got four squashes, squashes and those croutons are both used in the craft for the small Tashanka, or the, uh, the little beef stew, so that's another therapist quest. 
So those items are super valuable. They flee for a lot, uh, at least early wipe. So I think the squashes go for almost 40 grand, the croutons for like 20. This is where I started when I came back into my stash from that raid. A little under half a million rubles. I sold everything on the flea or everything that I didn't need for quests. I think I made like 600,000 rubles or something off that one raid. Yeah, right, almost exactly 600,000 rubles in one raid, which, I mean, early wipe for a PMC raid, that's just ridiculous. Or at least for me it is. It's not, cra not crazy if you have 10,000 hours on the game, but, you know, like I said, for me and you, it's a, it's a huge moment. One thing that I've noticed as I've been doing this is that... I seem to spawn in kind of bursty waves in terms of locations on the map. If I spawn in a given area, say, near Road to Customs, it seems like I'll spawn in that same spot if I'm looping the map for six or seven raids, so... If I spawn in this location, I'll just keep running Shoreline, and I'll just take advantage of this little uh, route. It's very quick. You just run up, you loop for seven minutes, and you get out. It's been a great thing for me to do, especially since scav raids take so long to queue into. This is an awesome alternative. You do have to be a little lucky to spawn in the right spot, but if you do, you should absolutely be taking advantage. This is the first video in a series that I'm starting called Tips for Timmies. Um, not really going to be covering a lot of like combat stuff or anything like that. There are people who are just far more qualified than me. More so, I'm going to be focusing on little tips and tricks that have helped me to understand the game better, find a little bit more success, make a little bit more money, uh, little things here and there that other people haven't been discussing. So if you're interested in hearing about it, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next videos. Drop a like so that I know this is good stuff and uh, feel free to comment if there's anything that you're curious about.